What is the first thing you think of when you look at these coyote skulls? If you're thinking, these are not coyotes, then you know what you are talking about. Because these are not coyotes. What they are, is I'm assuming, is a hybridized mix between coyote and dog. And the way that I come to this conclusion is we look at their teeth. The teeth of these individuals are much different than that of a coyote. Now this is a top canine tooth, her top left. Now a canine tooth on a coyote should have more of a point and they're thinner. These are shorter and a lot thicker. They're also a lot more brittle. We get the camera to focus on her tooth there. She's got, these teeth are very brittle. Another thing, one of the first things I noticed about her after she was fleshed out was the massive damage to this tooth here. She has massive tooth decay. The tooth had a cavity that went in there and then it went right into the bone and it was actually literally eating out her skull. Now, this hole here is part of that decay. This is very seldom seen in coyotes or any wild dog. Wild dog breeds anyway. Another thing that I noticed about her is just look at this. Tell me what is wrong here. She has this tooth here, but her matching corresponding tooth was never there. It's not that it had fallen out. There's actually no holes for it. There's no sockets. She was born without this. Again, a very unusual defect for a wild dog to have. Possible? It is possible. But you usually see dental deformalities more in dogs than you would coyotes. Now she came with her tooth shattered like this. And you can see that she does have a cavity up the center of that tooth. So it wasn't that whoever caught her wanted the tooth and broke it off of pliers. It broke off in the wild and then started a cavity. And there is some smoothing of that tooth. I would say that she would have been an older female because if you look at the browning on these teeth, this is from years of tartar and plaque buildup. And also, I mean, this hole is, it's massive. She would have had really bad pain in her mouth. But another thing that tells you that, that she is not pure coyote is her muzzle. She has a shorter muzzle. Her muzzle is short and her muzzle is also wider. Now another thing that these two individuals had when I got them is this area right here was just huge with muscle. The muscle on these two animals' skulls was just beyond anything I had ever seen on a coyote. They were very strong individuals. Another thing, if, if I had a coyote skull with me right now, I'd show you. But it's, she's very flat on her stop here. She doesn't have, a coyote has more of an upwards turn, especially in here. But she's very flat. She's very flat on the muzzle. Now if we look at this boy, he's pretty similar to her. I think they may have been related. He's longer in the muzzle. So he's got more length, but he is still wide. And he had a lot more muscle than she had. He was massive. But also very similar dental problems. He also had massive tooth decay on this tooth right here. Let's 
see if the camera will pick him up. Yeah, you can see there that that tooth was actually sheared off. It was sheared, and then the bacteria was starting to eat out the skull. So again, he too would have had very serious pain in his mouth. You can see some tartar buildup still on the tooth there. So I'd say that they were older individuals. Again, if you look at the teeth, you can see cavity pitting. But he did not have it as severe as she did, although you could tell that he was eating a lot of bones. So this shows he, he had a diet that did have a lot of large bones, which a lot of wild canines do have. Although there are a lot of people who give their domestic dogs bones to chew on. And this is the same kind of wear that you will see on a domestic dog. Now, the reason why I say that these two animals may have been related is that, again, he has a very similar dental problem where she had this tooth missing, he had this tooth missing, the one right beside it. And the bone does look different here. The camera will focus in. It's pitted, but there's no sign that that socket had ever been there. It's not that the bone had been healing over a missing tooth. There's, there's no socket, but the bone is pitted. You see the cavity in this one? Now his canines were the same. I have glued his in. But you can see there it had been sheared off and then over time it was smoothing out. Now you don't see a lot of broken teeth in wild animals because they're much sturdier. They're much sturdier. Their, their teeth are not as small or as weak as the more domestics. You can see right here where that bone was just wearing on those teeth. And a lot of people who think that it's great to feed their dogs bones, that their dogs need bones, they should take a look at this. Because this is how your dog's teeth are going to be. One of my own dogs that I had had years ago, his canines were little stumps because he ate a lot of bones. So it's not really good to give your dogs bones. You can get calcium supplements for their calcium. They don't have to chew bones. If if they're chewers, if they want something to chew on, get them an appropriately sized rawhide to chew on. See that those teeth were sheared off too. With cavities in them. There's a chip ready to come off of this tooth. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on that. Seems want to focus more on the box than on him, but yeah, they the bones were very weak here. So that's pretty much my findings. Um, the main thing I noticed when I had received them is that their muscle was huge, huge, huge. But then I was looking at their teeth, and their teeth do not did not correspond and do not correspond with that of what I have been seeing in wilder specimens. This up here is also much more pronounced. It's a much thicker ridge. Much taller ridge. Hers not so much, but you look at it and it looks like she's been... I don't know, it just looks like her bones are pitted. And this is not from my disinfecting and cleaning them. Her bones were like that when I skinned her. When I took all of her muscle off, her bones were very, very coarse. So I'm not sure exactly what was wrong with these individuals and their problems, but... As you can see, they are not 
not pure coyote.